Hi guys! Okay, so I have seen many tutorials on how to perform a do-yourself woven bracelet. Now this is just my personal take on this as well as my first DIY, so bear with me my little friends and I hope you guys enjoy it and let's go ahead and start! You're going to need some embroidered strings. I purchased mine at Walmart. Scissors, scotch tape. You're also going to need um, two bobby pins and a chunky chain bracelet. I bought mine from Juicy Couture, but I'll put down some links where you can purchase similar ones. Also, first you want to align all the three strings in a line like so. And afterwards, just tie a knot at the top, joining all the three strings. Make sure when you cut your strings, they are longer than the actual bracelet, just in case you make a mistake or you just simply run out of um, the string. So you can work with more secure place um, and scotch, scotch tape on top of the string so it doesn't move all around. Now you want to place one body pin on one side of the string and do the same thing for the other side. The bobby pins are just going to act as our needle to insect through the length of the chain of the, or like the bracelet. It's going to be way way easier on us. You always want to keep your strings to the left of the bracelet. And for tutorial purposes we are going to call the the green and orange colors number one and the teal one number two. Grab string number one and insert the bobby pin through the first link from the bottom up. Not through the top bottom. No, not like that. From bottom top and just pull the string. Place string number two over string number one and insert through the first link as well. And basically you are just going to repeat that throughout the hair. The whole purpose, um, not the whole purpose, the whole uh, thing about jingy. It's just like braiding. So yeah, place string number one over string number two and insert through the second link now. If you want to make the strings tighter and neater, just kind of pull and tug the strings so it can look a whole lot better and you can see what you're working with. And basically you are just repeating the same process all over. It's just like braiding and yes, that's all to it.
once you have reached at the end and you're done with braiding the whole the whole let's just call it braid all you want to do is tie a knot at the end just to secure it Next, you want to just cut off the excess extras we have left. And you are good to do the same thing on the other side. If you have any little leftover strings, just cut them off, it's okay. Again, here, here are, you are just repeating the same steps you repeated first. Just tie a knot and cut off the excess. And you are almost done. Just a few more steps and you'll be done. Now, you might be wondering what do I do with the little tassels at the end? All you want to do is just kind of tuck them in one of the first links, the top uh, and the bottom. Just kind of hide them, they'll kind of uh, camouflage in there. Just with the poly pin, just push it down. And of course, what you do with one side, you do with the other side. yes this is pretty much what you are left with hope you guys try it out and if you do uh, leave me a video response or tweet me or instagram pictures i'll leave all the info down below and yeah i'll see you guys later